So we got a no AC call. And the one I'm looking for is the right side of the building. It's like this one's running. I bet you I got an iced up evap. Look at that. So I'm gonna open this up. I know the AC's running outside, so let me make sure this blower. I don't think this blower's spinning. Alright, I got the door off. I need a tape or something to get the door switch closed. Let's see if you can see the blower. Very dirty. Um so let's just see what we got here. Let's see, turn on power. Double check the capacitor since it's a PSC motor, and then I guess I'm gonna start checking my proper voltage coming in. So I'll check the leg that goes on to the right here on cooling. So I need to check there to neutral. And I have it. 119. Alright, power's off. I'm gonna plug this back in. I'm gonna check from common and G. Turn power on. have a five microfarad capacitor of course on these uh, downflow applications I would need to take apart this B vent right here unscrew these and screw this up top. Well, no, I could leave that collar in there. But this is gonna have to come out. Well, I know all this needs to get out. I need to get this B vent out, all that, to replace the blow motor. I think I'm gonna go ahead and gauge up though on the outdoor unit and turn it on. Just so I can see it running, make sure there's not any other issues. Make sure there's nothing crazy sticking out that I should have caught. You can guess which one is the one that's not working. It's a compressor is iced up. And it sure is. We're getting there. All right, moment of truth. Get it all disconnected. See what I can do here. I'm just gonna do this in my truck so I already called the supply house they're looking for the part right now so while they're doing that I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart all right I'm just about to pull it out but before I like to mark you know where the wires coming from 
the clamp. Alright, this was a pain, but I got it out. I cleaned it up. There's still like rust marks in it and whatnot, but I went ahead and rinsed it out and dried it up. So most likely I'm a I'm gonna be back tomorrow. Um to replace this motor. They don't have it, but they should have it by tomorrow. Alright guys, I got the new motor. Alright, I got the new motor in there. Got the rotation motor. Got everything up here. Go ahead and start putting this guy together. Gotta do the beam vet now. We got the motor, new capacitor, put all that put together. Make sure it spins freely still. Just gotta put the beam vent together. I might just start it up now just to make sure I got the rotation right and then do the B vent. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So I still gotta secure the wires. Just want to make sure everything else is good though. Everything's put back together. Alright. Yeah, let me go ahead and test this out. Hopefully I did it right. Much better. Let's take an M draw real quick. It's gonna be a little higher than it should be because the door's open. I gotta check what it's allowed to draw. Alright, wasn't easy, but she is all put back together. Clean up the wires a little bit. Go ahead and test it out again. Refrigerant's flowing. And blower's on. Alright, I'm gonna do a few checks. Check the Delta T, make sure everything else is good. 69 is the supply, 85 and a half. Alright guys, that's going to be it on this one. Everything's looking good. Just a simple blower motor, but it's always more work when you got a downflow furnace. So. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate y'all watching.